Hi everyone, the Maths Man here. So in this video today, I'm going to be showing you a really cool and effective way to solve equations that have two unknowns or missing numbers uh, using the bar model method. Now this video is aimed at 10, 11, 12 year olds or maybe older depending on their ability. So let's learn it and let's learn it now. So the types of questions that I'm going to be teaching you in this video today is questions such as this. So we have 2B plus C. So here we have two letters that we do not know the value of. We don't know what those are worth. Now, I'm going to be showing you how to do this using the bar model method. And it's a really effective way uh, to help students understand what they're doing. So here I have 2B. So watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to take two rectangles of the same size and put them next to each other. Now this represents 2B because there's two of them. Okay, and then all I'm going to do is I'm just going to write B on both of these rectangles. So you can see that I have two B because there's two of them and they've both got B in the middle. Now I'm going to draw a different colored rectangle and I'm going to call it C. So using this method, I have represented two B and C. And we are adding them together, aren't we? And the answer we know is 18. So the next step, once I have turned the equation into the bar model method, is I need to try and solve this. And I need to try and figure out what B could be worth and what C could be worth. Now, to begin with, I'm going to use the trial and error method. So I'm going to say, say, well, I'm going to say that B is worth 10. So if this B is worth 10, this B also has to be worth 10. And I'm going to guess that C is worth 5. And then I'm going to say, well, 2B, so 1, 2B is worth 20. And then C is just worth 5. So then 20 plus 5 equals 25. So B and C cannot equal those two values that I randomly selected, 10 and 5. But now using that knowledge, I can maybe adjust what I think B and C could be. So I could say, well, I think B is going to be 8. So if 1B is worth 8, then 2B must be worth another 8 as well. I'm going to say, well, I'm going to add these up first. So I'm going to say, well, 8 and 8 together is worth 16. And then I can think, well, I know the answer is 18. So how about if C was worth 2? then 16 and 2 would be worth 18, wouldn't it? So in this equation, B can be worth 8, and C can be worth 2. Now, in these types of questions, there is always more than one answer. Okay, so I can do this look. How about B is worth 5? So B is worth 5, 5, and then those two together make 10. So that would mean C would have to be worth 8, because 10 and 8 makes 18. Let's try something a little more complicated now. So here I have 4A plus 2B equals 50. 
So again, I have one, two values that I do not know. I've already jumped ahead and I have gone to represent 4a as 1, 2, 3, 4a and 2b as 2, 1, 2 and b's. And there's the answer, 50. So again, I'm going to use trial and error and I'm going to take a guess. Well, I know I've got to multiply something by 4, so I'm just going to use 10. I'm just going to go with 10. So this a is worth 10. 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 So all of those together equal 40. If I know the answer is 50, then 2b has to be worth 10. So I could do that by making a 5 and a 5. Because 5 and 5 together make 10. And 40, add 10, makes 50. In this final example, which is the most difficult one I'm going to show you today, we have actually three unknowns. So we have E, we don't know what that is worth, we don't know what F is worth, and we don't know what G is worth. And again, I've jumped ahead and I've represented three E as one, two, three E's, two F's as two F's, and G's, a G is just one G on its own. So the answer I know is 100. So how about if I said that each of these E's was 20? So those three together make 60. So I've got 40 left. How about if this F was worth 15? 15, so those two together makes 30, and I know that 60 and 30 together is 90, but I'm trying to make 100, so that must mean G has to be 10, so 60, add 30, add 10, makes 100. If you know a different answer, to this question, then you can write it in the comments down below and I'll tell you if you're right or not. But don't forget to tell me what E is worth, what F is worth, and what G is worth. Thanks again for watching and I'll catch you in the next maths video.